OJs. OJs. Hi guys. I am so. What should I say? Irritated. Good morning. It's actually afternoon. I'm so irritated because my son is. He's kind of sick. He has a cold. And he wanted to go to school, even though I don't think he should go to school because he's coughing and sneezing, and that's when you pass it to people. It's just not smart. He wants to go to school because he wants to be able to go out after school. Now, he's going to keep going out. He's not going to get better. I don't know how much clearer I can be with him. But the only problem is when I say, okay, no, you can't do this because of that, it's a war. It's an absolute war. And to avoid that, I give in. So more so than more from yesterday when I was telling you guys. Um, to avoid conflict, I give in. And that happens a lot, except with strangers, only to my family. Uh, I guess only to my kids. So what am I doing? Am I teaching them that as much as they whine, they get what they want, that's probably what I'm teaching them, and that's really not what I want to teach them. So today, I'm going to actually continue with me saying no, and it's going to be really, really horrible. So that's what I have to look forward to this afternoon in about a couple of hours. Right now, I'm on my way to therapy. And I need the massage that she's going to give me. I cannot wait. First of all, the bed. Oh, that feels so good. And then, oh, it like, there's a rolling pin that rolls. And then it stretches out your back at the same time. And it wasn't recording once again. I love when my phone does that. I really love it. One last time. Hi guys. Uh, I, need my I need my pillow. I'm in my pajamas. I need my pillow for support because my back. So. Today, I wanted, this evening, I wanted to end with, um, I don't think I videoed that much today, and if I did, it was probably a lot of venting, because right now, I'm kind of going through a little bit of a stressful time in my life, where... I feel like I haven't even started what I'm supposed to be starting, meaning my apprenticeship. But my family life, I feel like I am being pulled in a hundred different directions and it's impossible for me to be able to... How can I say this? It's impossible for me to do it all. Basically, in my family right now, I have to do pretty much most everything when it comes to walking the dogs, getting the kids ready, preparing the kids, feeding the kids, waking up with the kids, anything. It's all on me. And the reason why it's like that is because someone else takes care of the financial stuff right now until I can get on my feet. And it's taken me a long time to get on my feet. But within six months, in six months tops, I should be on my own two feet and I, I will feel so much better about myself. So, today... Why did I feel the need to tell you that? Okay, because I was explaining to you why I'm venting all day today. I need to vent to someone and thank God you guys are there for me. Have you ever wondered if there's anyone like you? Like, is there anyone in the whole wide world right now? 
drinking coffee at 1.31 in the morning. I don't know. Probably not. I was thinking of what I could talk about this evening. And one thing that I want to talk about is have you ever been in a relationship where something occurred? Okay, you met this person a long time ago. And you guys are really good friends. And then you haven't seen them in a long time. And then recently you start talking to them again. And then they want to see you. And so you make plans to see them. And then you chicken out at the last minute. Why do you chicken out? You chicken out because of many things. Main thing, you're shy. Not only that, it's just not the right time because you know that that's going to lead up to something that you're not ready for. And I'm talking about not a relationship, but that those three letters that right now in this time of my life, that's the last thing I'm thinking about because... I'm not in the right frame of mind right now to be doing that. Wow, I'm getting really personal, aren't I? My main point was, is back to you want to meet that person but you know it's going to lead to there, so you can't meet that person and you end up hurting their, not hurting their feelings, but maybe hurting their fe- yeah, hurting their feelings because to begin with, you should have just never made the plans. But then you make the plans and you check it out. And you check it out, but then you, instead of just being honest all the way you aren't because you're afraid to be honest but in the long run it's better to be honest than to have that person not have that friendship anymore like that friendship has gone squashed and I was watching this show on MTV they have a cup they have this really cool new show called I think it's called catfish and it's about these people, they meet each other online, and then they, for some reason or another, they don't meet each other. They don't meet each other, or they don't, can't meet each other, or they don't want to meet each other. One person, basically, this is what it is. One person is hiding something. I can't get, I can't get good lighting in the dark. Ooh, ghost story. Basically, these people fall in love online, right? They don't know each other. They've never met each other. So when it comes time to meet, they have a strong connection and everything. When it comes time to meet, one person doesn't want to meet the other person for some reason. So tonight's episode, this guy was so nervous about meeting her. He finally met her. He's... The pictures of her was a smaller woman, girl, whatever, and he put the personality that he fell in love with, with the face, and person, like a different, like this person that he thought, wow, I could really marry her, I love her, I want to marry her, I got to meet her, she didn't want to meet him, finally she met him, she did not want to meet him because she was using someone else's picture. And in real life, she was like a large person. And when they finally met, she was like, yeah, I'm so sorry. But this is why I didn't want to meet you, obviously. And he was just like quiet. Didn't say anything. It was very 
awkward to say the least. I felt so bad for her because if you don't, if you really fell in love with someone for their personality, it wouldn't matter what they look like on one hand. But then on the other hand, you have this person that just totally lied to you. They made you believe that they were this other person and they weren't that per they weren't they they were not that person. So you have a a big issue there. Basically, if he met that person and it was the same one of the pictures, he would love her and be in love. But since she was not her, it was a different person. I think that's pretty rotten because they just stayed friends. He didn't want to really care. He didn't want a relationship all of a sudden because it wasn't the same pretty blonde skinny girl. I thought that was pretty rotten. And to me, if I fell in love with someone online and I had a connection with them, what they looked like wouldn't matter to me, especially if they had to cover up what they really looked like because they had self-esteem issues. I would never just be like, oh, well, sorry, you're not the same one from the picture. You're not that same skinny um, uh, guy, you're totally different. I would never be able to do that because that person would still be that person that I've been talking to for a year and a half that I've had this connection with and I would want to I would want to be for them even be I would want to support them even more because I know that they have self-esteem issues. So that would make me even want to be with them more. But that's just the girl in me. Because I think guys obviously are different. Guys can basically do whatever they want. Guys can treat people however they want. No, they can't. But some do. And it's, it's very complicated life. Life is so complicated. It's impossible to grasp every situation. But I don't know. I thought he was rotten for just leaving her like that. But that's just me. Another thing I was doing, my this client yesterday, the daughter, was telling me of, of the three, I don't even know if I had this in yesterday's vlog or not, but she was talking about the three nights of, and days of pure darkness. For three days, 21, 22, 23, or something like that, of December, we're going to have complete darkness because of some weird alignment. Okay? I was freaking out. And the mom was just like, Oh, well, the candles are over here. and Make sure you prepare yourself. Because the mom was going to out of the country. And me, I'm like freaking out. I'm like, no, this can't be. Heavenly Father, please don't say this. It's for real. I'm not prepared. I don't know what to do. This, this is, that's my worst fear. Dying and the end of the earth, the world. That's my worst fear in life. When I was little, I used to think about dying and how that's it, you know, that's it, you're dead, gone, what else, no earth, what? And I used to like get panic attacks and just, I would have to stop thinking about it, put it out of my brain, and that's what I have to do about certain things, and dying is one of them, and the end of the earth is one of them, just put it out of my head. So she was talking about that yesterday and I'm like freaking out. You have no idea how I was like, I know I'm going to wake up here. All of a sudden, everything's going to go dark and there's something bad's really going to happen. But then I'm going to wake up. It's going to be a dream. That's what I was thinking yesterday. 
That's the best feeling when you have a nightmare and then you realize it's a dream. That feeling that, oh, it's just a dream, that's the best feeling. But anyway, that's another topic. You have no idea how I felt when I searched it myself and it was a hoax. I was like, thank the Lord this is not real because I was ready to just cry. And yeah, so I was so happy. Alright, so I guess that will be that. I'm going to edit the video and put it out. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. It's already Wednesday. Can't believe it. And thank you so much for listening to me. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great Wednesday. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.